Hello everyone. My name is Christine Chage. I work at Ez Western Africa as a solutions engineer and I'm going to be taking you through how you can create multi-patch features in ArcGIS Pro. So to start us off, we are going to be working with a 3D map. So in a 3D scene, you can make use of 3D models in addition to the data types that you are already familiar with, that is points, lines, and polygons, can also be Z-aware, and they can be displayed either in a 2D map or in a 3D scene. So 3D models are intrinsically 3D, and they are used to represent the outer surfaces or shells of features that occur or that occupy a discrete area or volume in a three-dimensional space. So there are two types of 3D models that can be in the ArcGIS Pro environment, and that is either multi-patch features or 3D objects. So for this video, we are going to be majorly focusing on how to create multi-patch features. So to start us off, Multi-patches can be simple geometric shapes such as spheres or cubes or they can be used to display complex objects with high levels of detail. Within the geometry itself, multi-patches can store either texture, images, color, transparency or lighting. So we're just going to look at how we can create a multi-patch feature and also how we can add some texture to that multi-patch feature that we have created. In our map, we have a 3D scene that has building footprints in a 3D environment already preloaded, and our task is going to be looking at how we can create our own building or digitize our own multi-patch surface. So to do that, first of all, we do have some navigational tools for the 3D environment whereby we can view our 3D, we can move up or down, we can look at above surfaces and also below surfaces. We can pan through our map, we can hold our map and hold just to like move through our map. So to start us off, we want to create a new building right here maybe construction has just occurred and now we want to create a new building so to do that from the editing tab use the create features button and then for the template I'm going to use the new multi-patch template so select new multi-patch and then I'm just going to digitize around this area so and notice as I am moving, I have lines to guide me as I am creating my features. So I have the first building, and then I can now elevate this one or extrude to provide height to my building as well. And I can use my navigation to check the height of my building, whether it's exaggerated or not. I can also use the, um, the green circles to guide me if I'm increasing the size of my building, either vertically or horizontally. I can also digitize the second one, so it has some bit of irregular shape. If I want to pan through my map, I can hold C and move through my map as well. And then once I'm done, I can choose to and then I can digitize the second building that is adjacent to this one. So I can start off by having a rough sketch. And I'm using the base map as my guide to digitize the new building 
that have just been constructed recently. add texture to my map so to do that or to my new buildings so to do that I can go to modify features and under reshape I'm going to select multi patch texture so I can either use an existing color shade or if I had a texture of a building I can load that texture by selecting a JPEG of a building okay so I didn't want that so I can undo that move through around the building and add the texture for the building and ensure that all sides do get the new texture as well Next, I'll do it for the other building that we just created or digitized. Click finish. Next, you can add texture to our buildings. So to do that, select load texture. Then I'm just going to add it to our building. So that's it. We have been able to create a new multi patch feature. We have been able to add texture to it. Thank you. Right. Eleven.